What's up guys? So I'm on the truck. I took a shower because I trimmed a tree bush, one of those burning bushes that was up over the top of like our house. So um, then I noticed as I trimmed the fire bush that the phasia part or whatever it's called going from the roof, um, it needs scraped and painted because I don't think that board is paintable because it's yet peeled off again. So now that's showing, but the bush looks better. Anyways, I was over on Trust in God's channel and I was kind of venting a little bit and one of the things that I was venting about is how I have been feeling lately. Um, but besides that, this has nothing to do with that, but I am a little irritated about something else. That's been going on for about two, three weeks. And that's my monetization. So far, every time I put a vid out a video, I lose money now instead of making it. Um, as most of you know, my channel was not going to be monetized, but then I decided that I was going to monetize after Bigfoot. And I talked about money going out and not coming, you know, in faster than it was going out that, um, you know, we like to help people. And the thing of it was, is that we decided to hit the monetization button to make some and also use that to help the community. Okay. So that being said, <laughs> I'm hardly, I'm not very good about the analytics of things. I'm not very good, but I'm not dumb either. So it has come to my attention today over on Trust in God's channel as Dees was letting me know what's happening and other people in the chat were saying, yeah, I'm not seeing any videos on your, I'm not seeing any ads on your videos. So the YouTube, even though I'm hitting monetize this video and I'm hitting all the ads, they're not displaying ads on my videos. Mind you, I've only been putting up one video a day. As of yet, the past day or two, I've tried to put up more than one video. Um, it's been everything to I've been busy and honestly, I've been really down. I've been feeling the weight of sadness, frustration, overwhelmingness. And I have no reason really to feel those feelings for myself, for my own, because I have a happy life. I have an awesome husband. I have an awesome life, an awesome home and land and an awesome family. And I'm, I'm generally a very happy go lucky person. Um, I, I'm very blessed. However, I do have a dark past. Things have happened in my life that I didn't ask for, but um, those things are in the past and I don't live there. Although they tend to knock on my door and visit me every now and then being like, excuse me, remember when this happened? Um, so the past three weeks, I've been just feeling kind of down, not kind of just down and moments of happy go lucky Lake Ferry have been, um, the moments of those have been short-lived. And again, I have no reason of my own to not be happy. I am happy, but I feel like there's this cloud over me being like, I don't know. It's like this heavy, overwhelming sadness, but it doesn't feel like my sadness. So I've had to step back because as many of you know, I take on the feelings of people and the world and it's not something that I can just make go away or stop. That's me. It's a part of me and I am blessed to be, and I'm blessed to have those gifts, okay? I would never want to not have those gifts. However, sometimes it just gets heavy and it's hard for me to uh, regain me <laughs> I don't know get my energy back up 
I, it's not that I haven't had energy. I've been doing stuff. Trust me, I'm exhausted at the by like afternoon. I'm exhausted. Um, today I've already done a lot, and then I got so yucky dirty trimming that tree that I had to go take another shower. And now I'm heading out to go get some tubes and tobacco um, because I'm getting low. And heck knows, guys, we don't know what's going to happen. So I have i don't stop prepping. My mindset is constantly, we're getting to a point where you cannot take a break. You just can't. If you don't know how to do stuff, you have to figure out how to do stuff. How are you going to do it without power? How are you going to do it if you can't make noise? I mean, there's so much on my mind. Um, water filtration, um, food, um, hunting, fishing, trapping, um, shelter building. I mean, there's so many things that we need to know. Um, how to how to figure out what kind of weather we're going to be having without the internet telling me so or the television um how to tie knots i'm not the greatest at tying knots although i will make up my own i mean i can tie knots but i don't know the names of them all and talking about some frustration so i leave the house and i go to make a video and then i get a phone call I answer the phone call because it stopped my video anyways and nobody answers awesome so then I get going down to the store and I get to the store and they're only taking cash okay fine I'm like thanks have a nice day walked out and I get going down here and there's a freaking stinking detour oh yeah 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 so I'm already been frustrated for weeks okay Sorry, I had to hold my phone because I had to pull out into traffic against quite a few lanes. Um, I'm out here on a, I don't know what you'd call this, town, main roads. Um, so I'm like, you know, making this video, talking about stuff that's going on and whatever. My video gets ended and I go into the store and they're not taking cash so I'm gonna go to a different place that hopefully they're taking um, cards um, I know I know I should have cash on me it's none of anyone's business I don't want to use the cash okay so as I was complaining and this and that and the other thing I decided well maybe that's not the type of video I should be doing, although I would love to continue to witch about what the tube is doing with the monetization and not putting ads on my videos and all that jazz. And by the way, that is happening. I was over on Chest and Gods earlier and they, it has come to my attention, people are telling me that there's not ads on my videos. So that's why my revenue keeps going down instead of up and I'm not making anything. Fun facts. So then, um, Dee's mentioned that it could be like they're shadow banding me. And I don't know why, because I don't think I've talked about anything controversial lately. Not in a long time. I've actually refrained from it, from my own mind and for some of y'all and you know, no one wants to listen to that sometimes. So, I don't know where to go with this, but I wanted to talk about prepping overdrive and how we should not stop. Um, all of a sudden, they are talking about opening all this stuff up. You want to know why? Because people are getting fed up so now they're going to be saying they're going to do all this but in actuality I see something different happening no they ain't this ain't gonna go away and if it does go away miraculously I'm gonna have some big-time questions mm -hmm. but anyway um first water second 
how to make food and how or how you, yeah well yeah that too how to make fire to to cook food you know you got to learn how to forage you need to learn how to hunt trap fish um how to do shelter uh, if something comes through your house, how are you going to fix it yourself? Um, finding ways to get home with either by using a compass or if you can't use a compass, well, then you're going to have to know what direction you're going in and how to find your way home without Google, okay? Um, how to predict your weather by smell, sight, you know, things like that. Um, tools. You need to know how to use tools, how to make tools, um, how to do things um, with wood, how to build, that goes back with your building shelter, um, how to sanitize things, um, learning self-defense, learning how to hike and climb. You need to build your stamina and how to, if you don't know how to swim, you need to learn how to swim. Um, the reason I'm mentioning all these things, like cooking from scratch, for instance, the reason I'm mentioning all these things is that you need to be situational aware. Situational awareness. I can't talk. <laughs> um, emotional and mental is key. And I am probably not the first person to be um, talking to you guys about this because of how my emotional state has been as of late. But that's also why I am talking to you guys. Because I know me and I know that this isn't really me. This, this feeling this way is not, is not me. This is coming from somewhere else because of who I am and the gifts that I have, I call it sticky balls. It has come from other sources onto me, okay? Because it's not how I feel, although I have an overwhelming feeling of sadness, frustration, overwhelming something. And it's yuck, okay? It's yucky. And I can't or couldn't seem to break the bungee cord that I felt like was on my back. Well, I have to protect myself better um, because you all know, the ones who know me know me and what that is and why it's happening. So I had to take a step back because I needed to break that. I hope you guys understand. I am a very feeling, loving, emotional person who feels greatly of the things that are out there. People that are out there. Y'all. Things are opening up. Things are being lifted. But yet, they're not. So it's like that is, isn't, um, there's things talking about schools opening back up in August, next, you know, this coming August and September. However, there's other things saying that this isn't going to get better. So you do you see what I'm saying? Nothing makes sense still. You got to keep prepping. You can't stop. Matter of fact, I put it on hyperdrive because things are going up. They don't want you to be aware. You know, the CDC, the whole zombie apocalypse thing, people who actually read that, there was actually that funny that G2 showed me and I put it out on a community post the other day. And um, he called up as if like he really believed that there was zombies coming. You know, if we did something like that, the other side would have a complete, utter, freaking fit over that, by the way. They would. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go into the store, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Their card thing worked, so, yay. Now, 
Um, interesting. This uh, gas station is a little crazy. You know what, guys? 297 or down to a half a tank, I probably should get gas. Right? Okay. So I guess we're going to stop and get gas. This will be different, getting gas on the YouTube. <laughs> All right, well, this is another part of staying prepped. So let's unplug this and let's go do this thing. Put in my card. It says, do not remove card. Now it says, remove card. Okay, so we're gonna hit this. We're gonna hit the regular with my foot. All right, get some gas. Anyways, don't stop prepping. Keep your gas tanks filled. Everything is going up. I am not sure if I'm gonna hit the store after this or not. I did come out to just get tobacco tubes and get gas. I think I'm gonna leave the rest of it till tomorrow to get my kind of head in the game to know what I'm gonna be getting. People are going in without masks. People behind the counter are not wearing masks. Just all of a sudden, huh? Question everything. Watch and listen to everything. Half a tank of gas. We have a big tank though. Thirty-seven oh seven. It's usually oh four or oh seven when I get gas. It always stops around there. Always put your gas cap back on. <laughs> you shouldn't put it on your truck in case you forget. It's a good idea to like put it up here, or I guess if you could keep it in your hand. hair problems all right this is what I have holding the back of my phone I have to work on these arms they're like bye-bye arm I'm gonna plug you guys back in take you guys with me because you guys are my sanity today I'm not the only one who feels it, but something's coming. Something's always coming, right? Yeah. But no, in all seriousness, I feel something different <sighs> besides the hiccups. my phone because this girl needs to punch it. 
Um, people are, hmm, impatient acting is the only thing I can think of, is that everyone's walking around with like this irritation. Like I don't feel irritated, but I feel the irritation from them. Does that make sense? I'm picking up a lot of irri irritated, frustrated, sad thoughts. And it all comes from unsureness. Mm -hmm. Because now that these people are all getting the thingy, they are like, oh yeah, I got mine, I got my first, got my second, I did this, I did that, and this Spider-Man is not helping me. Somebody get me a possum. We've got many Bibles, but apparently I need a possum. Because Spider-Man isn't doing his job. Um. I don't know, guys. Seriously, I do not know completely what this is. But it's going to be one of those big whammies when it hits. That's all I know. Is this, something is coming that is going to be a big whammy. And just when you think that we cannot be surprised, I think that this is going to shock the world. At least us here in America. Yep. I don't know why. It's just this rotten feeling that I have. And you guys need to keep your head above the water. I would say head on a swivel, but you need to keep your head above water. You need to stay emotionally sound, mentally, and emotionally prepared for anything. So that way it may still be a shock. But maybe it won't be so shocking if you know it's going to be shocking. I hope that makes sense. And I know I'm quiet. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit.